Well, hello there, everyone. How are you? This is Dr. G with Dr. G TV. Welcome back. I hope by now that you saw the premiere episode and know what this TV show is all about. I am excited to be joining you again. And as you hear in the background, the champion, I'm a champion. You're going to hear me roar. Uh, because today I'm going to be talking to you about who is Dr. G. I decided to do this episode and put it out before before the first episode because I think it's important for you to understand who's behind the camera. So that you understand that I'm just like you and know my story and that we have so much in common and you can relate to me. Because guess what? I'm still learning. I'm still growing. And I wanted you to get to know who I was and know that in my story, I've been knocked down many times. Knocked down, head <laughs> on the floor. But it's about getting back up and becoming that champion. And so I wanted you to know the real me. So I'm going to share some stuff with you that a lot of people, if you know me, you probably don't even know it about me. But um, it's going to be fun. So I wanted to share with you in three different parts. I'm going to kind of tell you how I grew up first. And then I'll share about my professional uh, and then my personal. So I'm going to do this really quickly because some of these topics can be a show all by themselves. And I will delve further into who I am when we're talking about some of the things that we're talking about. Hit the subscribe button. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be forthcoming. So get ready. Who is Dr. G? Well, the first part of me is I grew up in Wichita, Kansas, in the Midwest. That's right, Wichita, Kansas. I grew up the youngest of three girls. And I grew up in a Christian single-parent home. Uh, we went to church on a very, very regular basis, three, four times a week. I accepted Christ at an early age in my life. Um, and living out my Christian faith is very important. And uh, growing up in, in Wichita, Kansas, I went to high school there. I went to Wichita State for two years. So I was a shocker for two years and ended up leaving Wichita State, even though I was on probation, and transferred to Oklahoma State University, where I decided I needed to get it right and graduate. So I had to buckle down and actually learn, which is what I was going to college for. <laughs> and I graduated in elementary education with elementary education degree from Oklahoma State University. I got married right after graduation and we moved to Oklahoma City uh, where we lived for 13 years and had a uh, all four of my children in Oklahoma City, and then moved here to Dallas, Texas, where I still live and have been here for over 20 years. So that's a little bit about how I grew up and the background of where I've come from. Now, I'm going to tell you about my professional journey. So professionally, when I graduated and I taught elementary school and middle school for about four and a half years before I developed a discipline program. I had that discipline thing down pat and other teachers wanted to know, you know, what was I doing to have all of this discipline in my classroom and I was this young teacher. So I wrote it down and it became a discipline program. I ended up starting my own business back in 1990 and I started um, traveling around, uh, traveling around the country and teaching teachers how to have discipline in their classroom. And it was called The Five Keys to Real Control Going Beyond a Discipline Plan. And guess what? I wrote my first book back in 1992. Here is a copy of it. <laughs> the Five Keys to Real Control Going Beyond a Discipline. Of course, that was when the books were done on the printing press. So that was my first book in 1992, and I continued to, I continued to um, run my business, and then I become an educational consultant, and um, 
and I did diversity trainings and a lot of things within my, my business. And then I went to get my master's and doctorate. I went to do a sales call to the University of Oklahoma to get my discipline program for the pre-service teachers. And they found out I didn't have an advanced degree. And the dean of the College of Education actually talked me in and said, we'll give you a scholarship if you come back to get your master's degree. And I left from making a sales call and went into the admissions office and enrolled right away, in which I did, did, did um, get my degree paid for. And then they offered me to pay for my doctorate degree. So I got my graduate degrees um, on scholarship. And so that is possible to do. And I got my master's in educational psychology, and then I got my PhD in instructional psychology and technology, which is a, a, a deeper than just understanding the human behavior. Uh, so it, it's really exciting. And then I, I continued on. I started a nonprofit organization called Young Educated Sisters. It was there to help deter teenage pregnancy. It went on for 12 years, and we have a 99% success rate, so I'm very excited and proud about that. And still in touch with some of the young ladies, and now they're grown, and they have their own families and are doing quite well. So that was exciting. And then I... Uh, Went on to start doing a lot of traveling, training, uh, speaking in, in different places, and then moved here to Dallas. And when we moved here to Dallas, I restarted my company, and then I started another nonprofit organization called the Six Million Dollar Women's Club. And that organization was to bring women together to teach them about uh, self uh, confidence, to teach them about relationships, teaching them about uh, finances, spirituality, health. And we also had a liaison with the women's shelter. And then we also raised money for women to go back to school. So it was three prong. And so that was exciting. All at the same time, I was still writing. And um, I loved the writing. I did teach uh, as an assistant professor at the University of Oklahoma. But when I came here, I decided I didn't want to continue to teach. And so developing how I was going to structure all of what I knew and my knowledge to help to give back to people. So I continued to write books. I wrote my next book, and it was a book on parenting, and it was called If I Have to Tell You One More Time, Six Keys to Motivating Your Kids. And then I wrote another parenting book, and it's called You Can't Be Sick, I Have to Work, uh, 50 Tips to Emotional Wellness for Working Mothers. So I continued down the writing path and loved that. And then I wrote uh, an e-book. It was... Uh, it was for men, so I wrote an ebook for men, and then I wrote another book. Um, if you're in the driver's seat, why you lost a roadmap uh, to an amazing life, and then of course uh, my latest book. If you see it back there, the power of attraction, getting the man you need not want. So I've been in this writing and still have so many more books left in, in my inside of me. I've also co-authored four books with other people and I have um, put in a lot of energy into other people's projects and had some students that I helped for them to write their book. So in the writing space, love that doing that in the writing space. And then I started developing um, other products and programs and anything that I can do to help people. So I put, um, I have 13 of these CDs actually. So I started creating, you know, the psychology of a civil divorce. It's called Success Coaching in a Box, um, Getting Rid of Toxic People, the uh, psychology of, rel of successful relationships. Um, and it, it just goes on. I have several of them. You can see them all on drgladney.com. They're all available. Successful Living for Sisters. So successful living for women. Um, my mother's a Shiro. I have a number of things. So the writing and putting out information to help you create an amazing life. And so my journey continues to go on. I've served on many boards and organizations and continuing to develop programs, online training, 
It's just when you understand your gift and your purpose is in there. And I really believe that I'm just really getting started, even though I've done a lot of stuff on the professional end and the professional side so that you understand, you know, a little bit of who I am. And of course, doing the radio and the TV and being the expert and and traveling around to the different places. So I've had a lot of experiences, worked with a lot of people on an individual level, individual clients. So I just absolutely love what I do. I am so passionate about helping you to create that amazing life. So now, you know a little bit about about where I grew up and you know about the professional side of me. Now, let me tell you about the personal side because this is where people really can, we can relate to each other and you understand that I know. So I'm just going to throw out some of the stuff and the topics and so that you understand that not only do I know from a professional side of of how to work with people and all of that, but personally, I have been through a whole lot myself. And so I just put some things down here and I had to jot it down <laughs> because, you know, what I didn't want to make this too long, but I wanted you to understand and some of the things that I think are important because your journey has been my journey. The issues and problems that I've had, you've had them as well. Um, I grew up with an absent father. I was bullied as a child. I was abducted as a child, held by knife point. I lost my best friend in high school. I battled with infertility. I had a miscarriage. I had preterm labor. I've lost two children and buried two children. I had one of my daughters was sick for seven years and we couldn't figure out what was going on with her in and out of hospitals, uh, doctors, visits, uh, surgeries, you name it. I almost lost my son. He had ruptured appendix. We didn't know it. And he had to have two emergency surgeries. There's been so many other kid stuff. Oh my Lord Jesus. When you have children and you have four, like I do, there was always something going on for me to be at the school and trying to balance and handle all of that. Um, I've worked, um, I've worked with many different ministries and things that I've done uh, in the church, so I know very well a lot of the things that goes on and can happen, and I've been betrayed by friends, I have been lied to, I have been cheated on, I've had marriage issues, I've gone through a divorce. I have lost two sisters to breast cancer. I have had five cancer scares myself, four of them breast cancer, and one ovarian um, cancer scare. That, in when I say that, they were saying, you know, this is a possibility. We found a mass, we found a lump, you may have cancer. My latest one was just last October. And so that's a continual journey. Lost a father. I've been to over 90 funerals because I've lost a lot of friends and family. And so I've had a lot of grief in my life. Um, and I've gone through the depression. I've gone through a lot of things with, with family and understanding mental health issues. And the list goes on. I'm living as a single woman. So I'm telling you that right there. <laughs> so we're going to talk a lot about a lot of this stuff. But I just wanted to give you insight on who I am and some of the things that I've had to deal with in my life. And guess what? It's, it's continuing because the longer you live, the more things happen. You've heard if you're not in a storm now, you're coming out of a storm or you better get ready for a storm. And so with me and my story and my journey and, and have had business failures, I've had things that didn't work out. Um, I've had so many business people to do so many shady things and I've had so many, many experiences along the journey of the entrepreneurship. Oh my God. And so in building a business and trying to maintain and you're the product and you have to stay healthy and well, uh, I'm telling you, it's a lot, but I've learned a lot that I can pass on to you and I, I can help you and I can relate to you on the things that you have been through on this journey. But guess what? Our story is what makes us who we are. And so I'm interested in your story and hearing your story. So 
I just wanted to really give you a little bit about who I am so that when you hear me talking and you see these episodes, you know this is coming from the heart. And it has hit me. A lot of the stuff has hit me personally. So um, in helping to know how to manage my life and to I'm here to help you to manage yours. So that's what this is about and understanding a little bit of my story. You will hear more about my story as we go along and we talk in some of these episodes. Then I will open up and share, you know, how I got through some of this stuff and what that means to you. So I hope you have enjoyed learning about who is Dr. G. What I want and for uh, what I want and the success prescription for today is I want to hear your story. What is your story and who are you? So send me your story at info at Dr. Gladney, info at Dr. Gladney, and share your story with me. Just put some bullet points because I know we all can fill up pages and pages of who we really are and some of your background. But I'm interested to know who's listening to me and who I can help. And if you need further help, Go to drgladney.com and click on Help Desk because I have it there that if you have a question or a problem that you can go and click and actually uh, purchase some time with me and send in the problem and I'll look at your problem and, and give you an answer recorded and give you an answer um, on how I can help you. So please go to drgladney.com. There are other information. Sign up. There's free resources. You can find all the books and the CDs that I shared that I have done throughout my journey. And I'm just, I'm here to really help you, help you to create that amazing life, that amazing abundant life that um, God desires for us to live and to have in spite of all, all of the stuff that we go through. So that's it. The next episode that you see will be episode one. And why a relationship so difficult. So get ready for that. So I hope you enjoyed learning more about me. So I want you to have an, an incredible day and let me hear your story. Don't forget to subscribe and to share. And I will see you next time. Go ahead and make it a great day.